I'm in my classroom. It's August 8th and technically I'm on my lunch break, but from our just like staff development day, but I need to move things around because I this is the first summer that I have not come in to my classroom and like redecorated because I don't really plan on redecorating this year, but I do need to reorganize my classroom because I'm probably going to have a lot more students this year and my table setup that I had before won't work. So I'm gonna to try to maneuver stuff and possibly get rid of some storage. But let me show you. So every summer, they the custodians take everything out to wax the floors and put everything back in. And so right now the tables are just in a cluster, which is totally fine. But what I need to do, instead of having rows in the middle of the classroom and being able to walk around those tables, I'm thinking I want them to go against the wall and have a walking row down the center. I'm gonna try it. What will make that possible is if these shelves can go in front of my whiteboard, which is not where I want them, but I just need to figure out how I can make enough space for like possibly two more tables. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for my lunch break because School starts really soon <laughs> and I thought I was moving classrooms. That's what I was told. And that's not the case anymore, at least not for a while. So I took down lots of decorations. <laughs> so I will be working on putting those back up as well, which sucks um, cause that takes time, but I wanted to be ready to move classrooms and now that's not happening, but it's fine. But just means that I need to do some decorating and some organizing. Got some teacher goodies. Ooh. Cool shirt. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Ooh, yes. Good cup tumbler. This is a good box of goodies. Okay, here is my classroom this year. I've never been so overwhelmed by the amount of tables that have been in my classroom. And they had to add one, two science tables and then two more desks. Cause my numbers this year are going to be pretty high, but I started to feel pretty anxious about the, the amount of tables that are in here, but I made it work. I rearranged my classroom. I love that I now have a hall here to walk. Um, before the my walking path was on both sides but if I have it down the center then there are fewer tables to kind of maneuver through um, my lights that are normally above my whiteboard they died I have to go through the light bulbs so right now it looks kind of plain but um, that's just how it's gonna look for a while I moved those to um, bookshelves over in front of the over here to make space for tables I put some colorful paper on top of the lights to kind of dim the light in here since I don't have any Christmas lights up here I wanted to have the lights on but covered with paper so it's just dimmer one of our art teachers left and left this new bookshelf that he bought and I asked him I was like are you gonna go if, if he was going to come back to get his stuff and he said no and I said well then can I have that white shelf that you bought are you sure you don't want it and he was like no 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 take it so I took it another teacher wanted it but um I stood my ground and I was like no it's mine sorry now have this desk over here instead of the sticker one because this one's longer and it'll just help prevent the kids from coming behind my desk I need to put that stuff away so yeah a lot more tables this year and my classroom is just not as decorated as it has been because I took so much stuff down because we were moving and like all the art classes. But since we didn't move, I had to put stuff back up. Um, I have the Joker over there. 
because we have to display some, obviously I love to display artwork, but even before we start the school year, the kids need to kind of see examples of what we do in class. So I have some examples up. I had to move my projector so the picture's a little bit smaller, which I don't like, and it's not in the center, but it's okay. And I have my little, um, my iPad with the clock. I actually do prefer the clock over there. It used to be under my schedule over there, which I did not like. My little teacher desk is now over here by the Promethean, but it's facing the wall. So it's not ideal because you should be facing your students, but that's the only place I could put it. I feel like because I have more tables, I have to just put things in places that I don't, it's like not ideal to have them there, but it'll work. Like I'll just have to have my back to them for a few seconds while I put something on the screen, unless I can figure out a better place to put it, but that's the only place for right now. My sink area is a mess, but I've just accepted that this year I'm gonna work on my room as the school year starts. I came in for a week last year to work on my classroom, and which is, which is crazy because I felt like that was not that long ago, but yeah, I came in for a whole week to work on it and I just didn't do that this year. I feel like it looks good, but it's just missing some flair, I guess. It just needs twinkle lights. It needs some kind of lights on the whiteboard, <laughs> but I just need to figure out like what, how to fix them. And like, I don't like how the lights look with the colors necessarily. Like I don't like to look up at them, but the light that it gives down is nice. Like they don't look nice, but the light is nice. So we'll see if I keep them, but I, I really like that it's still pretty bright in here, but just, dim like it's brighter in here than it was last year because i have these all the fluorescents on we'll see class starts monday which is insane um i feel like i was just filming in here <laughs> not that long ago summer just flew by turning off all my lights but that was a lot of work, but I feel so good. I feel so good that it's set up and that I have, like, I like the red light. I mean, I look terrible right now, but the red light is cool. And um, I still have my blue light up here. I thought about changing the color, but then I just don't know that it's really worth it. I was very anxious to do this. I was anxious to set up, so I'm glad that that's done. Now I'm gonna go home. I still need to work on my lesson plans and get stuff like ready for Monday, but the classroom is ready. <laughs> it's kind of creepy red in here. <laughs> the red lights. It's like eerie, but I kind of like it. First day back. I'm nervous, but I got here super early to set up and get ready for the day. Trying to figure out how to style this short hair. It's been a long time since I've had hair this short. <laughs> oh my god, today was insane. For one of my class periods, I had 45 kids and four teacher aides. So almost 50 students, which you can't it was it was a, an error like it was it was a obviously a mistake but like they had to split my class into another class that didn't have class during that time but i was like where are we putting all these kids <laughs> and it's it, it was not done on purpose obviously it was they all the principals were here trying to figure out what to do and the counselors and i just i felt bad but i was like i don't i don't know what to do and the orchestra teacher came to try to recruit kids um, but yeah, it's a packed class, overflowing class, <laughs> but it was, it was a good day though, except for one class. I went over everything so fast and ran out of things to say, and we still had like so much time in class. And so as like an icebreaker, I tried to like ask questions like what you did this summer and all these, and the kids didn't want to talk. So I was like, 
okay we'll just sit here in silence and i kept trying to think of things to do but i was like oh my gosh i went over everything i couldn't think of anything else to do and so i mean maybe i shouldn't even be admitting this but another teacher had the same problem for one period like you have like you warm up as the day continues and it was first period and the kids they're all eighth graders so i i know a lot of them but i was like really awkward <laughs> like there was nothing to do so we just kind of hung out until they went to second period but that's kind of normal especially with first day you kind of figure out what to say as the day goes on or at least i don't know i do so oh my gosh it's a good day really good day but that last class i'm super stressed out and um now it's my conference so i need to look at my like, lesson plans and stuff try to organize but yeah i i'm so happy so so happy that today is over not because i didn't want to like be here or because i don't first day you need it to be over with so you know your kids or like for the most part like you've seen your kids and you get more of a feel of like you're, you're getting back into it so like the first day you need it to be over so that you can start getting into a routine or start to know your kids better that probably did not need to be said but very happy it's friday the first week of school is coming to an end and i had a really bad morning well i guess not really bad but i did not have a very good night's sleep like it took me forever to fall asleep and then my alarm did not go off so and i woke up and i was like what time is it It was 7 20. i had 20 minutes to like change make my coffee and leave the house so yeah i did not have a very good night and morning and i kept thinking like i need to turn this weekend around because i also broke my phone the screen broke but our principal, as kind of like a celebrating finishing the first week of school or like a, uh, I guess I don't know what you'd call it. He worded it very good in his email, but like um, kind of just like a thank you, I guess, to all the teachers. Our new principal is amazing. He got us waffles and ice cream. And I've, I've like seen this place, the, the Dalai Lama but I've never gone there and like they're making waffles in our hallway like fresh waffles and like giving us ice cream it was like such a nice thing and I remember just like thinking like all oh, my morning has been like not great and then like this made me feel so good like such a nice thing that they that he did for us like as a thank you so I'm really excited to eat this <laughs>